Hello, the virtual Scotsman here. Uh, over the past day, I've been working on an orbit. This orbit will take any craft which is on it and fly it through the moon, uh, the moon arch. It takes it's semi-synchronous, which means it takes four orbits for it to fly through the arch, but it does fly through successfully every time. It needs a little bit of adjustment every so often, just with RCS to increase or decrease the semi-major axis, and this just makes the period of the orbit slightly longer. So we're going to see our first object coming through soon, wherever it is. There it is, it's behind us. And with any luck, it will fly directly through the arch. 40 kilometers to go. We'll speed it up till it's about 10. And see it's swinging up right now. I don't know why it's so high. Oh, there it's coming down. 3, 2, 1. There's the satellite. Where'd it go? And it's already gone. So the next thing is a little bit more interesting. I have placed a, an inter, interplanetary space station on this orbit. We can see it coming up above the horizon now. It's called Vector Base. And that will be flying through as well. Now this orbit, it had to be really precise. It dips down inside the crater. That's where the periapsis is. And then it pops up to try and clear this mountain range that's behind us. It, it clears it by meters. It's barely anything. And it results in an orbit like this. Um, I will post the parameters and the the parameters for the orbit in the cheat menu in the description of the video, so that if anyone wants to put something on this orbit themselves, they can go ahead and do that. So, 20 kilometers to go. Getting pretty big. A little dancey dance. 9 kilometers, 8 kilometers. Uh, why is it went dark? Where is it? Is it evaporated? There it is! Oom. And it barely clears that mountain. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I don't usually speak on the channel. I don't really upload much either. But I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.